Hello everyone, welcome to Absima. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to walk you through a few new exciting features we have included in our proximity awareness platform as part of the release of Absima 2.1. Let's get started. The first new feature allows administrators to add multiple enterprise locations to be managed through the web dashboard. These locations can be added and removed in the application tab. As you see on screen, this company currently has a handful of storefront locations. You can easily edit or delete locations by hovering over the listings in the portal. Or, to add a new location, you simply need to click the New Location button in the upper right hand corner of the dashboard. Here you'll enter the name of the new location as well as the location address. Once you've entered the address and click Create, you'll see it now appear in the listing of existing locations. Through the web dashboard, you can now also assign login access depending on location management. Logins can be easily added, edited, and removed in the Login section of the Application tab. Each new user account created by the Super Admin will be assigned to the appropriate locations they are qualified to manage. To create a new user login, you'll click the blue New Login button in the upper right hand corner of the dashboard. The New Login dialog box will appear where you'll fill in the user's unique information. Lastly, you'll assign location access using the locations we have previously created in the Location section of the Application tab. Let's say this new user only works in the UTC and Horton Square locations. We'll enter those here. Once we set all the criteria for this new user, we'll simply click Create. This new user will now have access to the UTC and Horton Plaza store locations. Now that we've gone through creating new enterprise locations and user logins, I want to point out another new feature of the dashboard. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, the dashboard is now location specific. This allows users to switch between locations they have been assigned access to. Right now we're currently viewing information for the Fashion Valley location. By clicking the drop down menu you can switch to any other location you have access to. It's also important to note that the user will only manage the proximity beacons in his or her current location. This streamlines the process of beacon management in the event of hundreds of enterprise locations. Now we'll move on to the Metrics section of the Application tab. As part of AppSumo 2.1, we've expanded the analytics capabilities of our platform by including invaluable proximity-based metrics by group, giving you further insight into customer engagement and behavior. As you can see on screen, you can now view proximity metrics including visits and visit duration across a specific time range for all proximity groups located in a selected store location. For instance, right now we're viewing proximity visits for all proximity groups located within our Fashion Valley location during this time range. Or you can now analyze proximity visits relative to specific proximity groups located inside a specific location and compare them over time. For instance, let's say instead of viewing all proximity visits in the Fashion Valley location during this time range, we only want to view proximity visits for the home and fragrances section of the Fashion Valley store. We'll do that here. We just need to select them from the drop-down and the relevant data will appear. Now let's move on to the notification section of the Absimo Web Dashboard to highlight another feature. Administrators can now schedule location-based notifications, such as proximity notifications, based on a local time zone, fixed time zone, and a specified time range. This ensures that your users receive notifications when it's most relevant for them. For instance, let's use the example of a lunch coupon. We would want our users to receive this offer during their appropriate lunch hour depending on their location. Let's say between 11 and 1 p.m. local time. We would change the hours here. You would want to use a fixed time zone, such as Mid-Atlantic Standard Time, for something like a national event, such as the Super Bowl, which airs at a fixed time. For the Super Bowl, you might want your users to receive the message concurrently during the game, no matter where they're located. Now let's move on to the user section of the AFSIMA portal. In a previous video, I explained how application users can be segmented based on their user properties. You can then segment your users based on these user properties here. As part of AppSumo 2.1, we've now exposed some of our internal fields to allow you to take advantage of our tracking for segmentation. By clicking on the default button, you can see some of these new default properties, such as location, last visit, and visit duration. You can further customize these default properties by clicking on the drop-downs. For instance, say you only want to target users who visited a certain location. 
or visited during a certain time period. You can now use both default and custom properties to segment your users, making segmentation even more powerful. Lastly, I just want to briefly mention an update to our user management and authentication capabilities. Our original goal was to provide sophisticated user management and authentication. With version 2.1, we've pushed this even further to handle even more use cases. Essentially, AppSumo was designed to handle user authentication and user management without requiring an application server. This allows app developers the ability to develop complete solutions without needing an app server. With 2.1, we require only a user ID to link our users to your users. This is useful for cases in which user information may be sensitive. I hope you've enjoyed this brief walkthrough of all the latest features provided in AppSumo 2.1. Stay tuned in to all of our latest news on our blog.